sleek design, tick. Loads of versatility, tick. Powerful performance, tick. Today we're going to take you on a walkthrough of the Cap Camerat 9.0 Center Console. Take a look at it. Welcome back to The Rudder. I'm Damien, this is Brooke, and we're at Northside Marine having another look through a fantastic vessel. This is the Genoa Cap Camerat CC Center Console. First impressions really matter, and this first impression is amazing. So today we're gonna to take you on a walk through, take a look at everything it has to offer. It's a beautiful day boat. It's also a versatile overnighter, so let's go take a look. Starting on the exterior, the Cap Camerat is a very aggressive hull, more aggressive than the Mary Fisher range, so you've got quite pointy at the front. Then it comes through with these steep climbs to get the spray out of the way. You've got a bow thruster, so if you're maneuvering in a marina or in a harbour, you've got the bow thruster to help you out. So the sharpness comes through, then flattens out into a planing, uh, planing pan, and then keeps that flatness all the way through the tail to give you 2.9 metres of beam. So it is almost three metres of beam on a 9.12 metre boat. So it is a big vessel. It is on a trailer today you probably wouldn't be wanting to keep this on a trailer if you had it for yourself. You'd be wanting to keep it in the water or in some dry storage. Moving back through, as you can see, extremely stylish with some exhaust ports here and round to the tail. Moving around to the stern of the vessel, we've got beautiful white cows, Brooke's favorite. We've got twin 200s on this vessel, but you can go with even more power plant. You can get twin 250s on a cap camera which will give you a top speed of well over 40 knots very impressive everything else is here as you'd expect you've got your trim tabs i'm guessing the garmin stuff will go in here somewhere and a nice telescopic ladder that hides away when you need it and is nice and deep when you're getting out of the water you've got a grab rail as well and i really do like these grabs in the teak to uh, help you out of the water. Let's jump on board and Brooke's gonna show us around the cockpit. Stepping on board the 9.0 center console, this boat is so functional. You can use it as a day boat, a fishing vessel, and also spend a few nights overnight. Normally we start in the cockpit, we're actually gonna head down to the bow. As we move down to the bow, you can see just how easy it is to move from entertaining space to entertaining space. This bow is just exceptional. This cap camera is actually um, designed to comfortably fit 11 adults on board, which is amazing. And you can see here, you could easily fit probably seven adults around this space here. This area here drops down um, into a, an entire day bed area. And you can see here, as you're underway, you could sit comfortably here, but the great thing about it is, it, I mean, I'm not that tall, but even um, a six foot two male wouldn't block the sight of the captain. As you can see, the captain would easily be able to see um, everything while at the helm. Great armrest, super comfortable. These slide up. You've got cup holders placed everywhere around here. Um, now, this is really cool. This section here lifts up and you can easily stow away all of the cushions when in storage. So let's have a look at how that happens. Nice hydraulic and you just throw all the cushions down into underneath in the bow section. So as I said, this whole area here has the functionality of being an open day bed area for um, relaxing as well. Moving way up to the front of the bow now, there's actually a great storage section in under this seat here. It's extremely deep. I'm guessing you could easily throw your fenders in there, ropes, all sorts of things, but it's really, really deep. Life jackets even would be great space for storage there. Everything in this boat is really well appointed, very high end. We're moving up here. 
This one's fitted with a bow ladder so that you can push straight up onto the beach and, and um, exit over the bow. And you've got your um, anchor well here. Obviously you've got the remote, um, the windlass and all of the anchor chain well in there. To walk up to the bow, I um, move through the port side, plenty of room. Let's head back down to the cockpit and um, through the starboard side and, and we'll see what the versatility is in the cockpit. Let's go. As you move down, you can see there's grab rails everywhere. You've got the cleats nicely placed out of the way. Grab rails, so you're really safe if you were to hold on while you're underway. Grab rails everywhere, all the way along. You've got cup holders. So I'm at the helm. I'm going to leave that for Damien, but we'll move into this area here and I'll show you the functionality. So we're in the cockpit of the Cap Camera. And as I mentioned before, it's a great day boat, but it's also a fantastic fishing boat. So these seats here um, are modular. So they come up just like this one over here. So that's seating for probably four more adults, but they pop away nicely and you've got a lean leaning section here so you can uh, do some fishing so perfect fishing boat as well this awning goes back it's telescopic so popping this modular seating away to the side here this is where the batteries battery um, compartment is lots of cup holders all the way around now this section here i love this table it's got a couple of different functions you've got um, cup holders there just move the staging out of the way. It then flips over and a hidden compartment here. So we've got the cover on this, which is fantastic for storage, but I'm gonna lift it up and show you what's underneath here. Beautiful helm area, which Damien's gonna show you shortly, but under here, we've got a few little surprises. We've got LBG gas. <laughs> got the gas storage on this side and then on this side you've got a beautiful fridge and freezer section but check this out who'd have thought under the helm seats you've got uh, a cooker a sink everything you need for a beautiful day out or even a couple nights away so you've got that the cooking functionality the sink and um, lots of seating for people to relax. Now, speaking of seating, this is a hydraulic. It drops down and turns into a massive day bed area. So again, beautiful day boat for lounging. Underneath the seating here, this lifts up. And as you can see, there's lots of storage under there. Wet storage is great because um, you've got that drainage hole there as well. All right, I'm gonna hand over to Damien now. But first of all, before I do that, this is a perfect boat for children and little fur children as well, little dogs. The gate here, there's no child or puppy's gonna get out there and it's super safe as you go around because you've got the nice high rails. All right, let's pop this away and Damien's gonna show us what we've got at the helm. Welcome to the helm. This is an amazing boat. It's so open and spacious. I've got fantastic visibility everywhere and it is a true center console. So you're driving right at the center position. So you'll take the master seat here. You've got a little footrest for you. Very comfortable driving position to just cruise along. If you want to stand up and uh, take a bit more control, there's a bit of a lip there for your feet. And I could definitely see straight over anyone that was sitting on that bow cushion. All right, what have we got here? Beautiful steering wheel. Got the new Yamaha electric controls, so you've got lots of maneuverability there. Your bow thruster, trim tab control, all your rocker switches, drink cups, holders and things. And something I do love, I mean, this has got really deep gunnels, so nothing's going to go overboard, but you've just got so many little storage options. There's a little bit here, perfect for a mobile phone or something else. Got more storage up the top here sunglasses and things could very well go in there another little compartment in here and i'm guessing this is where the mobile phone is supposed to go there's a charger port there and another charge oh that's your um fusion stereo inputs got the garmin already installed on this one 
12 inch uh, touch screen. But as you can see, there's plenty of space for more instrumentation if you're going to add it. I think Fusion Stereo is still going to go into this one. This is your Yamaha computer control. But very nicely appointed and a great place to uh, take control of this vessel. As Brooke mentioned also, if it does get a bit rough, remembering you've got a top speed of over 40 knots. So you'll be flying along on this thing. You've got some great grab rails, perfect places all around the vessel for anyone that's with you. And if you're sitting up here, very nice and cruisy. Now Brooke mentioned about these gunnels. They also hide some extra storage. On this side, you've got some long storage for your fishing rods. Just underneath here, we've got some flexible storage options, so your ropes and things could go in there. Moving to the stern of the vessel, we have, could, that could be turned into a live bait well or some more wet storage options. So at the rear here, we have an outdoor shower, the shore power plugs in, and you've got your fillers for twin 200 litre tanks. So plenty of range on this boat. Also, I guess it's perfect to say, we've talked about this extendable bimini, as opposed to the other boats in the Genoa range, the Mary Fisher and the Sport, this is a completely open vessel. So you are gonna be exposed to the elements, so you do need to have some good gear to uh, keep you out of the sun and nice and dry. And this like you certainly does the trick. Let's jump down into, I know this is a center console, but we've got room to sleep. So let's go have a look at the cabin. Comfort and sleek design is a priority on this Cap Camerat. So uh, let's come down and have a look. Apparently this is berth for three. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna see if I can fit in that third berth. But first of all, let's have a look at the, the bow cabin. So it's um, nice and spacious and I showed you before um, the bow lid actually opens. So if you were to sleep overnight, a lot of airflow can come through here, which is great on a hot summer's night. Let's see how we fit. So you'd have your feet down this end here. Now, look, <laughs> I'm like an average height woman. I'd probably need to sleep on this side. There's a lot more room for Damien to slide down this side. So yeah, I reckon we could definitely sleep both of us on, on board for maybe a night or two. Let's have a look at the storage. You've got storage compartments. Oh, wow. Storage compartments the whole way down the port side of the vessel. You've got a little um, PowerPoint and a little sort of storage area to the side here. Also, if you were to keep this shut, you can open this for some airflow. Apparently, you can open the little porthole here for some airflow. Um, all right, let's move into the head now. Actually, let's see if there's any storage under here. Oh yeah, wow. Check that storage out down there. For cushions, blankets, even your, um, your bag, your luggage, those sorts of things, so it's great. You know what I was thinking, for this space here, I reckon it'd be great when you've got 11 adults on board, just get them to throw all of their bags down here and nothing um, disrupts the day trip. You've got all your, your luggage nice and stowed away. All right, we've got a head on board. You've got a mirror, porthole for some ventilation, a shower head. So you've got a, a sink, um, a, a vanity and a simple toilet. And then you've got also got a little cupboard for some storage there. So as you can see, the head is everything you need for a day trip or a simple overnighter. Now, we, <laughs> we've been told this is a three berth. I've sat here for a couple of minutes to try and work out how I would get in there. It's probably a berth for a child, but I wanna see if I can get in there. And I think the best way to do it would be feet first. So let's see if I can fit in this extra berth. Ow! All right. There we go. I wouldn't wanna be in a hurry. All right. Oh, yeah. No, this is um, pretty claustrophobic. <laughs> So I probably think that you probably put a child down here. Um, I would definitely not want to sleep down here, rolling over. And if I needed to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, 
might get a bit panicked and claustrophobic. So yeah, it's a berth, I guess, maybe half a berth. Down here, we've got the technical cupboard. And I think the owners of this boat have got the right idea. Probably the best thing you'd do under here would be throw all your life jackets, honestly, because getting in and out of this space, not super comfortable. All right, I'm gonna try and get out of this space and we'll go back upstairs and see what else we've got to offer. So there you have it. Walk around of this beautiful, stylish, super powerful Juno Cap Camerat 9.0 center console. Yeah, big thank you to Northside Marine for letting us uh, climb around their vessel again. This is a fantastic boat. This is the center console with the center console. The other one that is very similar to this is called the WA or walk around. And the only difference is this section at the middle is all flat on the walk around, whereas the center console um, has the little dip to provide another dining space. So both fantastic vessels. Uh, be awesome to get one on the water. But if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I hope you like that tour and uh, we'll see you next time on the rudder. Happy boating.